All right, what is going on, you guys? Today, I'm going to be reacting to the Harrison Butker speech that has been going wild over social media these past couple weeks. I know that I'm a little bit behind, but I've had a lot to do. I got a lot of videos to make. I still got them on my list up there. So I'm gonna try to crank these out and hopefully I can hit these things while they're still hot. Before I get into this, I just wanna say that the video that I got is taken from Cultish, the Cultish show, ran by Apologia Studios. I did this because they were the easiest ones to track down. I saw it on their channel. I keep up with their stuff. I knew I could easily find it on their Instagram. So I screen recorded this and I'm watching this from my phone and that's the video you'll be seeing on screen as well. Ladies present today, congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. You should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. First things first, beautiful. My first word is beautiful, on point, based biblical what harrison butker is talking about here is the central idea to what it means to be a family that our society is absolutely lost and that's why this video is going viral right now especially with this umpteenth wave feminism that's not to be derogatory but there's so many waves i literally don't even know which wave we're on now it's too much to keep track of with everything else i got going on in my own life my own studies so forth and so on people don't like that he's making it clear, making it obvious that his wife being a homemaker is one of her most important roles. And no doubt about it, he says that with the approval of his wife saying it too. Well, she agrees. There's no reason, there's no way he's going to go up there and say that without her agreeing. They both share the same values. Uh, another thing is that I, I know people don't like this idea that uh, your life doesn't start when you become a wife, when you become a mother, when you become a husband, when you become a father. My problem is, as Christians, because I, I hear Christians saying this too, uh, God created us male and female and he made us for each other. A big portion, a large portion of our lives is meant to be devoted to preparing to fulfill those roles. If we have no preparation, we're going to fail miserably at doing those things, right? If I fail to prepare to be a father, I've got a kid on the way. I'm gonna be a horrible father. If I've never taken anything from this world and I just focus on me and, and one of these days a kid pops out of my wife and all of a sudden I have to take upon this brand new mantle of being a father that I've never thought of or prepared for before, I'm going to fall flat on my face. The same goes with anything else in life. Women are preparing to be wives, mothers, their whole lives. You should be. It doesn't mean it's the only thing you devote yourself to, but your life truly does start when you begin to fulfill those things. And I think the problem is a lot of people are taking his words out of context and are saying, there's so much more to life, that you have more to do than just be a husband, a wife, a nurturer of the family, a homemaker, so forth and so on. That's true. Yes, but I don't think that what Harrison Bucker is saying as a pro football player is the only thing there is to life is to being a homemaker. No, the point that he's making is that God created us male and female. Men and women are made for each other to be husband and wife and then to create children and be fruitful and multiply. And what do you do before you become those things you prepare? So when you become those things, life truly starts it, the roles that we have been preparing for begin to be fulfilled by god through us in the lives that we are living as husbands as wives as homemakers as providers for the family so forth and so on i know christians friends of mine that agree with this idea that our home and our family is our first and foremost ministry but then they go on to say things like 
but being a homemaker for me, you know, as a woman, as a wife, or being the sole provider of the family as a father, as a husband, is not my main purpose. It's like, well, then what is? Then what is? As a child of God, what is, right? People will say, well, it's to be a child of God. But to be a child of God is to fulfill your role as a man or a woman in the most God-honoring, biblical, God-glorifying sense possible. And if our first and foremost ministry is to our family, then yes, our most important role as a man or woman is to be a husband and a wife and a father and a mother. I believe that what Harrison Butker said here in his speech was great. It was based. It was biblically sound. And just to speak to our culture and fight against something here, this is not an oppressive thing. This is not supposed to be a negatively patriarchal thing. This is not supposed to be anything that demeans or diminishes the value of a woman. And let me just touch on that quickly as well and say that men and women having different roles in life does not mean that one or the other has less value than the other. And of course, instead of accepting that, some people might object to that and say, well, yes, it does, because this makes me feel like blah, 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 or this is that. That is a subjective truth. That's a relative truth. The objective truth of the matter and of life, this life that God has given us, is that men and women having different roles does not mean that we are less valuable than one another. The Bible is the most pro-woman, pro-man, pro-life, pro-human book. In fact, the only times where our humanness is diminished and God lets us know that we are wrong, that we are bad, that we are sinful, is to give us the truth of his gospel, which is that Jesus Christ lived a sinless life, chose to put himself on a cross, died on that cross, gave up his spirit to God, was buried and rose on the third day for the forgiveness of all of our sins so that whoever would believe on him would be saved. And I pray for you, brothers and sisters in Christ, that you would continue to believe that. And if you are not a believer and you were saying this, I pray for you that you would begin to believe that and God would regenerate in you a new heart and give you the graces to heal, repent, and believe on Him and His Word because His Word is truth and there is no other like Him. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope this blessed you and edify you. And in the name and the love of the and in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go in peace. I will see you in the next one which is that Jesus Christ lived a sinful life. I'm, wow, which is blasphemy, heresy.